Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to embellish this painting. Uh, this was an acrylic pour painting. I think it was either like a strainer, probably a strainer pour or some some device similar to that. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this one. Um, but today we're going to fill in the cracks from where it uh, there was too much paint in it cracked when drying. Um, we're going to use the fine tip and we're using uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Neon Pink. And so I just take the tip off. That was water. I just cleaned it. <laughs> um, hopefully everything's still good there. I just take the tip, the cap off of the uh, the paint and then put the tip on, just screw that on. And it's kind of a self-cleaning tip because the, uh, the cap that you have to put on there, you actually have to feed the pen into the cap. And that just makes sure, or you feed the cap onto the tip. And that just makes sure that it cleans that tip so it doesn't get clogged. Uh, so we'll get started. I'll speed you up through this part because it will take a while. Uh, there's a lot to do here, so I'm sure my hand will be hurting. I might have to take some breaks in this process. Um, but I will uh, come back and show you the close-up wet and then the close-up dry. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, here we are for the close-up with it being wet. Start here. And it might look like there's a lot of paint in here, and there may or may not be the last time I did this, or one of the last time, the very first time I did it, I'll say that. Um, I kind of felt that way too, but actually whenever it dried, it dried just fine. Like it kind of uh, like settled and sunk in, so I'm not worried about it. I don't think it'll look like a puddle on top whenever it dries. I do think the color works well. Um, it's bright. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. We'll uh, come back in just a little bit when it's dry. 
All right, we are back for the dry close-up. Um, as you can see, maybe, maybe not, you can see some of the, uh, the, the underneath color through. So I may hit it again. Um, there we go. May do it again, just going back over the parts, like especially way up here, like you can definitely see that blue coming through there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like it. And I definitely think the hot pink worked, even though you can't see, you can see through it still a little bit. I think it really complemented the other colors. It brought some brightness to it. Uh, since it's all like dark reds and other darker tones. But yeah, I am happy with it. Just maybe one more coat to try to get some full coverage. If it wasn't diluted with um, the Floetrol and it was just like the pure, um, it may, it may um, not be so translucent, but then it's also harder and thicker. <laughs> so I will do it twice versus having to worry about the other. Um, it probably wouldn't come through that fine tip very easily, but may do it again. Not right now, but overall, I'm definitely happy with it. I like it better than I did before, so that's improvement here. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.